so. First, you gotta turn the little sunspot. Mortal. And the one schmeal who can last it up is waltzing around in the world! I was really moved. Double kid, but that ain't applause. What do you call that thing? Two words! I'm <laughs> Throughout the movie, Hades sends off mythical creatures to try and kill Hercules. Ultimately fails, he does solicit his murder several more times. Forget it. Meg, 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 my sweet little minion. Aren't we forgetting one teensy weensy but ever so crucial little tiny detail? I owe you! We can give Hades a false imprisonment charge here for keeping Meg's soul under his control. The way he got her soul was Meg sold it to him in return for him to save her boyfriend's life, which wouldn't be classed as a legal contract as Hades used Meg's vulnerabilities to his advantage and ultimately she wasn't satisfied with the outcome. It is likely he has done this to a large number of people since he does run the underworld and so has a lot of souls under his wing. All of this gives Hades a high culpability and would result in him getting a large sentence of 40 years. You may feel just a little queasy, it's kind of natural, maybe you should sit down! Titan! Look at you in your squalid prison! <laughs> Who put you down there? you free! What is the first thing you are going to do? Destroy him! Good answer. Hold it, Bright Eye. Oh. I have a special job for you, my optic friend. Hades just staged a violent revolution of Olympus. He will get the death penalty. Him with this. this shows Yizma's plan to poison the Emperor in order to take over the kingdom. This is high treason, attempted regicide, death penalty for Yizma. To your long and right. So, what are you gonna do? I mean, you've been around here your age, adjusting to life in the private sector. Hey, Kronk! Can you top me off, pal? Be a friend? <laughs> this wasn't Yzma's fault, this was Kronk's fault. Kronk made a mistake by giving him the wrong potion. Yzma's not responsible for this. No penalty. I must admit you had me worried when you mixed up those poisons. <laughs> All right, I've had enough of this. Tell us where the talking llama is, and we'll burn your house to the ground. Ah, uh, don't you mean or? <sighs> Tell us where the talking llama is, or we'll burn your house to the ground. <laughs> Finish them off. Hey, you're not backing down now, are you, big guy? <laughs>
revile you as a monster. I am a monster. Out there they will hate and scorn and jeer. Only a monster. Why invite their calumny and consternation? Stay in here. Be faithful. I'm Since Quasimoto was a child, Frollo has been harmfully scoldering and emotionally abusing him to the point where he has become an adult and has had a huge loss of confidence and is isolated from the rest of the world under Frollo's orders. This would likely result in jail time for Frollo, along with a settlement for damages to Quasimoto's mental health due to expenses for therapy, paying for medical bills, and the amount of life he has lost due to being in that tower. <laughs> Stop. Sir? He's up. Wait between letters. Otherwise the old sting will dull him to the new. Uh, the real war, Captain, is what you see before you. For 20 years I have been taking care of the gypsies. One by one. And yet, for all my success, they have thrived. I believe they have a safe haven within the walls of this very city. A nest, if you will. They call it the Court of Miracles. What are we going to do about it, sir? 20 years Frollo has been hunting down Romani people throughout France without real reason. With probably millions killed or imprisoned in the process, this makes Frollo a genocidal dictator. And if there was ever a revolution where Frollo was punished for his actions, it would almost certainly be a public execution for the judge. Sentence for insubordination is death. Such a pity. You threw away a promising career. Consider it my highest honor, sir. In order for someone to be charged with insubordination, the order must be lawful, which it wasn't. Therefore, he had no right to execute him. Therefore, it was second degree attempted murder. The prisoner Esmeralda has been found guilty of the crime of witchcraft. The sentence, death. Rolo, have you gone mad? I will not tolerate this assault on the house of God. Silence, you old fool. The hunchback and I have unfinished business to attend to. Frollo breaks and enters into Notre Dame with the intent to murder Quasimoto. Then he commits assault and battery on the priest. All of this together will give him a burglary charge. You don't have to steal anything for it to become a burglary charge, you just have to go in there with the intent of committing a felony, which he did want to murder Quasimoto. There, there, Quasimodo. I know it hurts. But now, the time has come to end your suffering. Forever. <gasps> Leaving so soon? Look! Up there! Hang on! require the use of a mystic blue diamond. Oh, uh, my ring? But it's been in the family for years. Is... Don't worry. Everything will be fine. The diamond. Here, Jafar, whatever you need will be fine. Calm yourself, Here. Another Kramer on the head. Soon what? I will be Sultan. Not that adult-gated twitch. And then I stop the crackers down his throat. <laughs> We can see here Jafar plotting to overthrow the Sultan. This would result in a death penalty if he was found out. What are you doing outside the palace? And with this street rat? That's not your concern. Do as I command. Release him. 
Oh, I would, Princess. Except my orders come from Jafar. You'll have to take it up with him. What are you doing? Giving you your reward. Your eternal reward. I'm afraid you've worn out your welcome, Prince Abubu. Make sure he's never found. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the genie, Aladdin is now a prince, and that means this is attempted regicide. I'm so happy. You should be, Jasmine. I have chosen a husband for you. What? You will wed Jafar. This would constitute as forced marriage, as the princess isn't free to make her own choice on who she marries due to the system that Agrabah runs with when it comes to royals becoming married. By the way, I'm not charging brainwashing here, as it's not a real crime. It's not possible to do that in the real world. Guards! Guards! Well, that's it. We're dead. Forget <laughs> it. Just dig a grave for both of us. We're dead. The rest of our <laughs> one strict. This is not done yet, boy! <laughs> oh, look at them! Cheering that little pipsqueak! Let them cheer. Genie, grant me my first wish! I wish to rule on high as Sultan! What is this? What? What is this? What's going on? I, oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> I had <another. laughs> Jafar, you vile betrayer! That Sultan vile betrayer to you! Since Jafar has no connection to the Sultan heritage or any other royal heritage at all, him taking over a Sultan would not stand and would be viewed as a hostile takeover of the country. To send him packing on a one-way trip so his prospects take a terminal dip. His assets frozen. The venue chosen is the ends of the earth. Jasmine!